Here's a quick demonstration of this little tool I made for putting a small dent in the side of pencil buttons. First of all, uh, here's a pencil. It uses a P200 mechanism. Take out the body like that. And the button is hollow and it's a uh, friction fit over the end of the lead reservoir, this plastic tube here. This is the original Pentel button and you can see it has a little indentation in the side of it. That provides just enough friction as it goes over the lead reservoir. Now on the buttons I make, this is a rough turned one, before I put the dent in, it's drilled out to 5.9 which is a, a loose fit over the end of the reservoir. Uh, that just falls off. There's no friction. So that's where I made this little tool to make a dent in the side of the button uh, to, to make it grip. So here's the tool. It's basically just a pointy screw with a graduated dial on the end of it bearing on a little rounded anvil. The graduated disc is actually inset into the knob and is held in place with high viscosity damping grease so it can be zeroed simply by holding the knob with one hand and with your fingers turning the disc. It takes a little bit of effort to do that and the, this, the damping grease ensures it stays in position. Anyway, let's make a dent. So, the button slides over the lower anvil, screw it down gently until it just contacts the surface, then, oops, hold it in place, zero the dial, this is graduated in millimetres, and we'll give it maybe 0.2 millimetres squash. See it springs back, so you have to turn it a bit further. There. So that's about 0.2 millimetres deep of a dent. Wait till it focuses. You can see a nice little dent formed there and on the inside. That should now be focus a nice friction fit on the end of the pencil and so it is. It doesn't fall off and it doesn't take much effort to remove either. So that can then go back into the, the pencil. Fits nicely, clicks nicely as well. So it's uh, one of these over-engineered tools, it's for a very specific purpose, but uh, it does it rather well, I think. Okay, thanks for watching.